Hey everybody, today's not gonna be too much of a video. I'm just getting a head start on tomorrow. I'm starting pretty late. I didn't film much while I was at home. Once again, enjoyed my time at home. Got a lot of stuff done. We went to a, uh, a wedding. One of Britt's friends got married uh, on Saturday. It was really fun, really fun. Uh, Sunday, oh, what did we do Sunday? Did a lot of errands running around. Today's Monday. Today's pretty much just getting ready to go. Got all blue, washed, cleaned up, ready for the road. And I've got a new step deck behind me now. I just picked it up at the yard. We're going to go to Kenora. Another Kenora run. I'm not sure if we're going back to Brainerd or not, but huh, chances are high. So if that's the case, then I'm going back to Brainerd. All I know is I'm picking up tomorrow morning in Kenora. So I want to get there again so that I can get loaded first thing and get on the road. Because if we are going to Brainerd, I'll be able to unload tomorrow yet. We can make the most out of this week. I washed the truck myself before I left and I forgot to wash the windshield and the top of the hood. Because reasons that I can't come up with right now. I don't know, choose an excuse, pick your favorite one. That's why I didn't do it. Uh, we're gonna have to stop by Petro Pass, get some fuel anyways, at Deacon's Corner on the east side of Winnipeg. And we'll wash that window down then as well. Make our way to Kenora. Hopefully we don't meet any more bears. I haven't met any more since that one, so. Bears ye be warned. We are officially rocking and rolling. That's a nice Western star there. It's a nice owner off that owns it. I'm thinking about putting the big herd moose bumper on the front of my truck. Like a big, uh, it's called the road train, made by herd. Uh, I believe they're made right in Winnipeg too. So locally made. I wasn't sure if that's the road I wanted to go, but I do want to protect this truck because if you, if you end up hitting a deer or anything, it could be a lot of downtime just waiting for parts, right? There's new Cascadia over there. Who's that? Who are you? Are you new? What's the unit number on that thing? Is that a company truck? It's gotta be owner up. Eh, it's gotta be owner up. Welcome, new person. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're gonna love it here. I guarantee it. This is my 11th year, no, October 26th. It'll officially be 11 years. Since I was first hired here. A lot has changed since then, but it's all been good. I've really enjoyed it. I mean, obviously I can't speak for everybody, but I think I speak for the overwhelming majority when I say that we're, we like it here. Turn left. All right, all right, all right. Into the night, we will be trucking. Into the dark of the night. Hopefully not hitting any bears. There's Deacon's Corner right there. And we got the green light. Hey, hey. Better be a long enough green that I can get through. Sometimes they make them so short. Buddy. Whoa, where are you going? Going in circles? Oh no, he just wanted to, <laughs> wants to park over there. He's probably scared that I was gonna take that spot and a race in front of me. Oh well, no, I'm not parking here, bud. Going all the way to Kenora. Just need some go-go juice and some food. I forgot my bread at home. I usually have bread to make sandwiches with. 
have to buy some more bread. So I've made it here. I'm gonna sleep right here till the morning. There's two other trucks here as well. We're probably gonna get loaded before me. Would make sense because they're here before me. The, the sign still says that the gate opens at 7 a.m. The last time, remember what happened? I got to the gate at 6.59 and there was already three trucks inside the gate waiting to get loaded. I don't know how they got through the gate because it's one of those gates that's like a power arm. You like push a button and it goes to security or something in there. And then at 7 o'clock, they start opening the gate for the drivers. Well, they got in before 7 a.m. Doesn't really matter to me. I probably won't be at the gate exactly at 7 tomorrow either. But uh, shortly after, or right around that time, whenever I can... Whenever I can get going on my day, I uh, haven't figured that out yet. I've, I'm too tired. It's been a long day. Even though I didn't drive very far, uh, it's it's time for bed. I don't got diesel with me on this trip. I haven't set up my bed yet. Uh, but I don't have diesel, so it's, it's a little less uh, responsibility in the morning for me. I don't have to walk Diesel first thing in the morning, and I also don't have to feed him. He gets his breakfast every morning. This week he's staying at home with the family. He's staying with uh, Chevy and the Franks and Britt. He's he's happy at home. Like, don't get me wrong, he loves coming on the truck too, and he really wanted to come. He, he did. So does Chevy. Chevy doesn't really know what he wants, because as soon as he gets in the truck, he regrets his decision. He's not a road dog. <laughs> But I, I've been meaning to take him on a trip again soon just to see if that's changed. It used to be that he'd get so excited to go in the truck. He'd be so excited. Then you get him in the truck 15 minutes down the road and he's like, all right, I'm done. Take me home. <laughs> Whereas Diesel's always excited. He loves being on the road with me. But he also loves being at home. He's 11 years old now and I don't want to take all of his golden years for myself. I think uh, it's not fair to be selfish with him that way, even though he probably would love to come along on every trip. Britt really loves him as well, and I think it's important to share him and uh, let him have his, you know, his retirement at home as well. So that we're not just alone traveling on the road all the time, that he also gets to relax and, you know, wrestle with Chevy throw Chevy around. Chevy's way bigger than him, but he still lets Diesel win when they fight. <laughs> it's very obvious. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go back there into the blue sleeper. Make my bed. Crawl into it. Close my eyes and drift off to an amazing land of dreams. Where I can do anything I want to do and be anyone I want to be. I can even fly sometimes. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I love Dream World. I like to take Dream World, certain parts of it, and bring it into reality sometimes. Like, an example of that is Old Blue. This truck itself used to be in my dreams. Now here it is. I didn't know exactly what it was going to look like. But, uh, you know, for the longest time, I, I've always wanted a Kenwood W900. This has always been my dream truck. And I'm living my dream right now. And I'm so thankful that I have the opportunity to do that. But I never knew quite what it was going to look like. I, I had sort of wanted a studio sleeper. Uh, it's just a bigger sleeper. It's deeper. It's higher. It's got the windows up here. And uh, for the longest time, that's I was convinced. That's what I wanted. But then I started doing city work. And then I wanted to start doing this regional work. Which is working out great, by the way. This position I'm in right now, I love it. This is the perfect balance, I think. It's been working out great for my family and I. Uh, I've been loving it. But anyways, I don't need such a big sleeper if I'm not going to be in here for like four or five weeks at a time. I just needed enough for me. There's only one bed in here, which is, you know, if I'd look, if I would have seen into the future when I was younger, this would surprise me because I always wanted two beds. I still sort of do because when I have kids one day, I definitely want to give them the same experience of traveling on the road with dad that I had with my dad. 
It's just we're not going to be able to sleep in the truck together. Unless if I can install like a, a second bed. I bet you I could get Kenworth to install a second bed. Just something that can... I don't know. I don't really want that clutter in here, right? And I don't know if it'll work with the shelving in here. I was just thinking I'll take my kids with me on a couple of trips here and there. Uh, and we'll just stay in motels for the night. But that doesn't always work either. Because, like, tonight I'm sleeping at the customer. There's nothing here. There's no, like, they don't even leave an outhouse out here for us. I mean, there's a bush over there. That works. But, uh... <laughs> and the bed's not quite big enough for two people to sleep in. I don't know, I could think of something. I could think of something. I could maybe, like, make another platform in here, put a sponge mattress in here so the entire back, including this area here, is bed. So it's, like, a wider bed. If I have a small kid, it would be easier. But, uh... Oh, we'll figure that out when the time comes. Yeah, like I said, it was, it's not exactly the truck I had always said I was going to buy. I always said I was going to buy the W9 with the, the studio sleeper. No, I changed my mind actually about a year ago that I wanted something smaller for regional. I wanted the flat top sleeper. And this is very close to that. The flat top sleeper is actually like literally just like a flat with the cab. This goes up a little bit so I can actually stand up back there. So... I'm very happy with this purchase. Very happy. Uh, dream come true, like I said. And uh, it's running great. And life's going good. Life is going good. Good night, everybody. I've been rambling here for seven minutes now. Wow, you're still listening to me. You must like me or something. Makes me feel good. Thank you. If somebody likes me. <laughs> I don't have very many enemies, I don't think. I don't think I have any enemies. I try to... I try to be friends with everybody. You know, I want to give everybody a good shot. Everybody needs a friend. And of course, I need friends too all the time. And I don't want to be someone who people don't want to be friends with. I went through some rough times in my younger years. That was a topic for another video. And, uh, you know, I, I, I got really mean at some times when I was a kid in, like, school, elementary school and high school. Sometimes. But I always regretted it very much. So. And I made a pledge to myself that in my life I want to make sure I'm a guy that's always nice, kind. Though I don't always succeed in that. I Sometimes I get upset. And sometimes I just meet people, I just don't like them. But I still try to be nice to them. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being my friend. And uh, we'll see you in tomorrow's video. There will be more substance in tomorrow's video. It will be more like regular vlog. Not just nighttime like this.